Hello guys, Dave Nature here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna show you the four exercises you need to be doing to get the strength and body of the Hulk, you know. So these are the only four exercises. Compound movement. You can do every day or you can do three times a week if you wanted to have a good physique and a great strength at the same time. And I admitted myself that when I started my weightlifting journey, I didn't do these exercises because they were very hard for me to do. But you know, as I got the knowledge, then I come to know that they are the essential pillar for success in, in strength and bodybuilding. So let's get into the exercises. And one thing more, doesn't matter if you are a complete beginner or you have a lifting experience of three or four years, it's okay. I'm gonna teach you the simplest and the hardest way of doing these exercises. So stay tuned and let's get hit the gym. So this is the first exercise. It's called pull-ups or chin-ups. This is the best exercises for thickness and width on your back so this is a foundation for your upper body so you need to be doing some sort of kind of chin up wide grip or kind of narrow grip or a wider grip if you go for a narrow grip it works on your thickness if you go for a wider grip it goes on your for your width so let's do this exercise if you're a complete beginner I'm gonna tell you how you can start doing because when I started I was only able to do one or two chin ups so slowly I worked on it but let's start doing with the complete set so can, you can just see the form like, like what is the best way to do it and what is the perfect form for it. So let's do the exercise first. This is what some people call service. They take your keys and put you to the nearest bus stop. And then, right across Australia, when you drive your Ford in the end... Okay, so this is how you can do wide grip chin-ups, you know. The wider you go, the harder it gets. But if you are not able to do even a single chin-up, I got a solution for you. So you can start with the assisted chin up machine which you normally all the gyms have. So this is what it looks like. So you can add the weight according to your strength. If you are weaker, you can add more weight to assist you. So this is how it's done. So this is the one way of doing it, but there's another option you can do if you don't have this machine and you're doing a chin-ups at the home, then you can do this thing. You can you know jump yourself at the top of the chin up position and then try to handle your weight on the way of coming down so this is how it looks like so this is for the people who don't have a gym membership and just trying to build a good bag at home so you have a chin up bar at the home and this is how you can do it so you can put a chair underneath or something to jump yourself up but you can also do something whatever feels like So it's called negative reps. So you jump yourself up and only doing the one side of the motion. So this way you can build up your strength and once you have it, do this for two or three months and then definitely you will be able to do like three or four chin ups and slowly progress it to 10 chin ups. So for this exercise you need to do at least four to five sets with 10 to 12 reps and then you will see a lot of improvement in your back. So let's move to the second exercise guys. It's called the dips, you know, you can do the dips with the body weight or with assistance or you can use the extra weight you are strong enough so the dips are the best exercise for your upper body strength especially on your chest triceps biceps and shoulders it gives you control it helps you to push more weight off your chest like any kind of push movement you know like you do push-ups or you're doing a bench press or something this is a great exercise to gain strength in these kind of push exercises so let's do I'm not going to show you what is the form of it you can just see it because this is just for the exercises so let's start from a kind of, you know, what kind of motion you have and different techniques in the dips you can use to emphasize on the different part of your body. So let's do it. So 
dips can be done for chest or for the triceps. So if you're trying to focus on your triceps, you keep your body straight and do the peeling motion up and down. So this is how it looks like. You can bend your legs if you want or you can keep them straight. So you come down straight, then go up. So you're not bending forward. Just straight, then go up. And squeeze at the top. Squeeze at the top. Squeeze at the top. So this is for tricep. So if you just wanted to change it to the chest exercise, you just bend yourself a little front and then perform this exercise. Now you're not locking at the top because you're not doing the triceps. So this is the two variations of depth. So if you're a complete beginner, you can still use an assistant to improve your strength. Same thing goes for this. You can use assistance in form of a seat. Just like I did for the chin-ups, you can put your knees here and then perform the dips. Just like this. So, as you gain strength and knowledge, you can add weight to your dips. So let's do the third exercise guys, this is mainly focus on your lower body, so this is a leg exercise. So I was confused to choose between two exercises, whether to start the deadlift or to do the squats, so, but I prefer the squats because I think it's a bit easy to make a balance and correct the form in the squats as compared to your deadlift. So let's do the squats. So this exercise guys, you need to train your legs because a lot of people neglect the legs especially in the start of their journey to fitness. You know, like even myself, I didn't do any, you know, leg sessions in my first six to seven months of my training and I regret it now. So you have to start with, like you will definitely feel weaker in that leg area and nobody likes to train it. But if you're a complete beginner, start with the sit-ups. They are the best exercise. Do the like 20 reps, of, you know, 20 reps for each set and do like four to five sets of just sit-up. Try to gain strength and balance in your body. So this is kind of a normal setup you can perform. So why I'm kind of pointing my hands at the front is just to make a balance for my body. So go back up, go, go down and then go back up. So try to always keep a bit of bend in the knees because if you straighten your knees it kind of will affect on your knees. So as you gain strength, you can add a plate to it and then perform the squats. So you just like raising the plate and then do the sit-ups. And you can hold it behind your head. Once you're okay with that and have a good balance and good you know, flexibility in your leg muscles, then you can go to the squat rack and start performing the rack the squat. So let's go to the squat rack. So guys, once you've got a bit of strength in your leg muscles, then you can come on the squat rack. So you don't want to start the squat straight away if you are a complete beginner. Just build your strength and flexibility and the balance. Once you have it, you can start try, you can try with a 10 kilo or 40 kilo weight. But just for a demonstration, you know, you're going to be really quickly building strength when you just started it. So you can start with a six, uh, like 20 kilos and then I'm going to show the form and kind of technique you have to perform with just with a 60 kilo weight. So 20 kilos the bar and 20 kilo weight on each side.
So the feet are kind of shoulder width apart and a little bit pointed to the side. So this way you can use your whole leg, like hamstring, glutes, and quads for this exercise. Hold your breath, take a deep breath, hold it. Breathing is very important in this exercise. You have to hold your breath to tighten your core and whole leg muscles and then go down. And then hold the breath and on the way you come up, that's where you release the breath. So this is a great exercise for your lower body. So let's guys, let's move to the fourth exercise and the last exercise. This is a, you, you have to perform push-ups with the body weight and then as you grow strength, you can add weight on your back. And, and then you can move to the bench press because that's the main building block for the chest. And this is a great exercise for your chest and your you know, whole upper body kind of foundation. So let's go and start it. So I will start with the body weight just to show you the form of it. So it has to be the smooth motion for the whole body. So let's see how to do it. The hands going to be with shoulder width apart. And the body has to go in one straight motion. Wider your hands are, open your chest with the narrow your hands are, in the chest comes into play. So as you gain strength, you can put 20 or 30 kilo weight on your back and then do the same motion. So this is how it looks like. So this is the four exercises guys you need to be doing to have a full body strength and a good decent physique. So subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions just comment below and hope you like the video and see you again guys. Thanks.